solvents and thinners. The liquids which dissolve and mix with oils, resin, and other paint and varnish materials are employed by the painter principally as diluents or thinners. The practice of oil painting is a simple yet sophisticated combination of drawing, color theory, sculpture, and chemistry. But what happens to the artist when part of that equation is off? And in this particular case, it's the chemistry. When you look down and realize that you have old, dirty solvents. Are your old, dirty solvents unable to clean your brushes anymore? Are those dirty solvents muddying up your beautiful colors and color mixing? If so, it might be time to change out that solvent. However, disposing of solvents isn't that simple. Oh no, not there! Dumping solvents and paint down the drain is unwise and could be illegal in your area. Nope, wrong again. The chemicals used in solvents and paints are often very toxic and may cause environmental contamination or health problems. So what's the solution, you may ask, artist? Let's reuse and recycle our solvents. Now I know you're frustrated. And yes, spiking your blood sugar will kickstart your mood, not to mention all that glorious vitamin C for a great and glowing complexion. Hold on there. Let's reuse that orange mango glass container. First, let's give it a rinse to clean up all of that delicious sunshine. Next, let's remove any and all labels to avoid any confusion to what its contents are. Far out. Actually, for this, we will need two glass containers. Whoa, hey, you certainly did that in a gif. Make sure you always label your containers for clarity and safety. Let's have a container for clean solvent and let's have another container for our dirty solvent. What do you say? Let's go recycle that old dirty solvent. It is definitely some bad news. Go ahead. Give it a good shake to unsettle all that dissolved paint at the bottom. Now go grab that funnel. Yep, that's a good looking funnel. It's time to pour those dirty solvents into the dirty solvent container. Yikes, it looks just like a night of heavy drinking. Now use a little bit of the clean solvent to thoroughly rinse the brush cleaning tank. Well done. Let's get every last drop. Now a quick wipe down with a shop towel will restore it to its previous glory. Righto. Well, hello there, Scully. And what's that? <laughs> How about that? You are totally right. Anytime when handling harsh solvents, make sure to use protective gloves. While we're at it, let's clean out that travel brush container of yours. I bet that's pretty dirty. See, you've got the routine now. It's both simple and fun. After just a few short weeks, the solvent and paint will separate. Make sure that jar is airtight and secure. See you soon, recycled solvent. While we're waiting, a brief word on oil paint solvents. There are a number of solvents a painter can use. Most common is an odorless mineral spirit, or OMS. These are made from petroleum distillates and contain low aromatic solvents, which means they are safer for the indoor studio space. But they still have the power to clean your brushes, palettes, palette knives, etc. But they should not be used to dissolve natural resins like Damar, Copal, and Mastic. Meanwhile, turpentine is the classic artist solvent. Distilled from the resin of pine, turpentine is the traditional brush and surface cleaner. It is the solvent of choice for natural resins. However, it is considered toxic, especially the lower purity grades found in the hardware store. Always stick to high quality artist grade solvents. Wow, looky there! The majority of the paint has separated and then settled to the bottom, while the clean solvent has risen to the top. The longer you let it rest, the more clear and transparent the recycled solvent will be. But this is good enough for us. Now very carefully, pour off that recycled solvent into your clean container, making sure none of that dirty paint follows behind. Check that out. Good as new. The savings just keep adding up. Eventually, your dirty solvent container will fill up with paint, 
Look, there's an older one now. So what do we do with all that dirty paint waste? Well, responsible artists, just simply look up how to dispose of hazardous waste in your local area. I reckon that was a little too easy. Way to go, artists. Even dogs will write you in to their history books. Now let's get back to why we're here. Finishing that underpainting with cleansed and sparkling solvents. Look at you go! Oil painting is really a true delight when you remove as many obstacles as you can, especially while saving your hard-earned money and protecting our beautiful environment. By reusing your recycled solvents, now you again have clean and tidy brushes. And your color mixings are back to being bright and pure. And all of this with just a couple of orange mango juice jars. Now you can get back to all of your nifty oil paintings. Well done, artists. Well done. Until next time, thanks for watching.